Welcome back. Our next guest is known for putting a modern vintage spin on some of the most iconic characters from the world of pop culture. Over the past 14 years, Minnesota artist Steve Thomas created dozens of limited edition Star Wars prints approved, approved by Lucasfilm. His art has also been featured in the sitcoms like The Big Bang Theory and Two and a Half Men. And recently, photographer Eric visited his studio. A lot of what I do is vintage inspired, whether that be the old travel posters or the old advertising art. You know, I've had a lot of opportunities. I was able to do the Minnesota State Fair poster back in 2011. I've worked for companies like Cliff Bar. The coolest place I've seen my work is probably on the set of one of those comedies. You might have seen this in, on the set of uh, Two and a Half Men, or if you're a fan of the Big Bang Theory, um, when they revamped the uh, comic book store, this you can see in the background up on the wall. I grew up loving Star Wars. You know, I had the bed sheets, t-shirts, you know, action figures, everything. Fast forward 30 years, I had the opportunity to start doing licensed artwork for Star Wars, which is just amazing. Some of the first things I did were travel posters to some of the planets. You know, I started with Tatooine, Alderaan, the Death Star. I like to put a little bit of whimsy in there, so if you've Seeing the movies, you're familiar with the movies. Alderaan by Moonlight is uh, sort of an inside joke. You get that joke if you're a Star Wars nerd, yeah, or a dork, whichever you like. You know, just those little details that will let people know that you are an actual fan. Dorkiest fact I would know is that um, technically, Princess Leia is taller than C-3PO, which I didn't know, but um, you know, doing some artwork for Lucasfilm, I had. I'd put them on a scene together and they came back to me and said, nope, you gotta change the heights. So my favorite piece out of the Star Wars ones I've done is probably this drink, Rebel Cola. I mean, it's simple, I like the colors. Um, I hadn't seen anything done like that before. Since The Mandalorian is coming out on Disney Plus, I wanted to go back to Boba Fett. It starts as really rough sketches. I wanted to go back and do a vintage liquor or wine ad. Some movement from Boba Fett and uh, I'll stick him right in the middle. When you are working on the computer, all the details all have to be drawn still. So this one here, <clears throat> I just recently finished. I wanted to bring this up because I wanted to show you all the lines that were on here. This is that image there. If you can see down here, there's the uh, Millennium Falcon as the shadow. But I did make this t-shirt, so there's a couple little jokes in this as well, so if you've seen the movie, hopefully you get them. Leia calls Chewbacca a walking carpet. Han tells Chewbacca to laugh it up fuzzball. If they keep making Star Wars movies and TV shows, then I'm gonna keep on making Star Wars art for as long as they let me. I'm drawing, basically, for a living, which is what I had set out to do, so I guess, yeah, I have my, I have my dream job. It justifies, I guess, you know, your own artwork, uh, you know, having Somebody at Lucasfilm, see your stuff, give it the stamp of approval. I mean, there's nothing better than that, really, when, it, when you're an artist and you're a fan. There's not. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Steve Thomas, everybody. Welcome. Right. Thank you. I, uh, uh, question number one. Yes. Could you please put baby Yoda on a baby food jar for me? Yes. Please. Yes. yes. Yeah. My wife has said you're going to ask me about that. In yes. Uh -huh. uh, anything. Yeah. I'll, 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 we'll trade Aaron Schwab for a poster. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I love you, Aaron. No, but I'll trade you the guy up there. There we go. That's my buddy now. He's my co host today. Yeah. Um, what is it like? I always like, I call him, take me to the. Take me to the moment where you're a Star Wars fan, mm -hmm. you get the call, the email, the moment that you're going to be doing licensed stuff right. for them. Well, it actually took a couple of years because I had uh, I'd done a few of the posters and hoping to get them sold. Yeah. Um, and I found a place called Acme Archives, um, and they work directly with Lucasfilm. So they have a submission email. So I did that, and it took probably two years of me, you know, here, this is what I've got. Here's just what I yeah. have. <laughs> and then, yeah, and then I got an email back saying, let's, let's go for it. You're looking at, uh, these are all displayed on our set. You're looking at some of the ones we, we didn't get into the package. I love the Jakku and the malt, Darth Maul's milkshakes. Yeah. What, okay, so now take me to the moment, because as you saw in the piece, everybody, Big Bang Theory, Two and a Half Men, how does that happen? 
Well, you know, that happened without me even knowing it, really. I got a, an email from a friend with a screen capture from the They don't show. have to pay you? No, well, that's one of the things, right? When you're doing something for a licensed product like Star Wars, oh. you can... You, I get royalties from the sales, but then the artwork is theirs, so they can do whatever they want oh, with it. Oh, fascinating. Yeah. But, you know, to see it on TV like that. That's was, a huge, yeah, that's the huge. payment yes, right there. Was, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you can't buy that kind of exposure, really. Uh, no, no, that is. So out of, uh, and you also did, let's take a shot, Leo. Not just Star Wars, though. I could talk to you about that for yes. 80 years. For the uh -huh. Vikings as well. Uh -huh. So, yeah, that was a, uh, for the U.S. Bank Stadium, they had uh, curated uh, artists from local area. You submit your artwork. Uh, I was lucky enough to be chosen, and they gave me um, all the Hall of Famers to do. So I did portraits of all the Hall of Famers. And then those are in the Turf Suites hallway. It's, so if you have the opportunity to go check that out. You'll see that. Yep. Well, please come back. I would, hey, Again, gladly. Absolutely. Yes, Steve, everybody. Ted. Thank you. What a great gift. What a great gift for a nerd like me, sincerely. Sure. Uh, and sorry, if I could. Yep. Um, for the, those watching in the audience, um, if you go to my website, stevetomstart.com, I've put a promo code, The Jason Show, or it's just Jason Show, and you get 20% off. There we go. stevetomstart.com. We'll be right back, everybody. Stay with us. Thank you, my friend. That was great. Thank you so much. Now I want to get a closer look.